Well, what happened in this song? We have sort of have a, a psychophysical rush, okay, induced by the music. And, you know, we could tack on some Jesus words to sanctify it, okay? Um, which one of the, well, <laughs> what does this music really want to say, though? What does it really want to say? Jesus loves me, this I know? Or maybe something more like this. You'll forgive me. <clears throat> Love the love my baby, love the love my baby, oh yeah, baby, you're so good, oh baby, you're so good, baby, you're so good, you're so good for me, my baby loves me, that's what I know. Just last night she told me so When I'm a down and a feeling blue My baby comes round and tells me I love you <laughs> okay. okay, you know, that's probably more what that music really wants to say, right? Now, um, <laughs> you'll notice something interesting about this too. You notice I didn't use my standard whatever, I, you know, I didn't, I, w I was using some kind of a different drawl or something. My pronunciation, the way I approached the words, changed on that, on that song, okay? It wasn't, my baby loves me, this I know, just last night she told me so. No, my baby loves me, that's what I know. You know, just last night, she told well, whatever, you know, I mean, you can, okay. But this is, it doesn't sound right to do it with your regular standard King's English pronunciation, right? When you do it this way, that's part of the atom mood that's being created by this music. You're just a complete dork if you try to sing that <laughs> in, you know, the way you normally pronounce things. The whole thing has this kind of a brash, careless, flippant, bug off, you know, attitude. They're just, they're just, you know, I can't normally talk like that, but if the music is right, I can talk like that, okay? Well, <laughs> but that was Jesus loves me, okay? Believe it or not, Jesus loves me. Well, <clears throat> this arrangement that we've just played here, Jesus loves me, illustrates Hansen's fourth musical law. The emotional effect of shifted rhythmic accents is greatly heightened by increasing the volume level. He said that back in 1944, okay? If you play this song soft, okay, it just doesn't cut it, okay? Now teenagers, and uh, you know, understand that instinctively. Your teenager's upstairs, okay? You come home. The whole house is shaking with music, you know. Billy, I don't care if you play the music, just turn it down, just turn it down. Well, Billy realizes that if you turn it down, it's not the same music anymore, okay? This is what this music depends. This is part of one of the elements of music is dynamic level. And this music depends upon dynamic level to achieve its intended effect. Well, let's, uh, what I'm going to do, we've, this is now we've kind of done Jesus Loves Me a whole bunch of different ways, right? And now you're all, experts on all the different types of things we can do with music. What we're going to do next is we're going to apply our newfound knowledge to some different excerpts of music, all right? And uh, that will be part two. And I'd first like to use an example uh, of a song. This is a Christian song. Let me say, if you recognize the performers of any of these tracks that I play, uh, please don't tell us who it is, okay? <laughs> because my purpose is not to, um, you know, put up or put down any particular per performer. I'm just using these examples. They just happen to be ones that I picked, and I could have picked, you know, sc scads of others. Uh, but some examples I thought were appropriate for illustrating a certain aspects of music that we'll, that we'll be looking at. So, this, uh, this, track here is uh, going to be the first example. This is some currently available uh, 
<laughs> Christian music. Sound off. Sound off. We will always try to be kind. Jesus wants you to be kind. Jesus wants you to be kind. To each person that you find. To each person that I find. So tell me now what can I do? Okay, well that's a that's a song that is actually um, it's produced by a, a major Christian organization. You know, you'd readily recognize who, who it was if I told you. It's used as part of a daily vacation Bible school program, uh, and it was, this was a program that was supposed to inculcate virtue in children. And one of the virtues that they were stressing in this vacation Bible school was kindness. What does the music say? Is it supporting the words? Kindness. Jesus wants you to be kind to each person that you find. I would submit to you that kindness is not a mechanical, gruff, command-driven type of uh, sentiment. Okay? Uh, we have, in this particular music, a very active rhythm. Okay, you notice the percussion line, very, very prominent, and I'll just call it a crummy melody, primitive melody. That was our melody, you know, two or three notes repeated in pretty much the same pattern. What does the music, we'll just pose the question again, what does the music of the kindness song really want to say? You know, I, I use the example, okay, little Johnny has been unkind to his sister. You're at home. You know, he's been unkind to his sister at the supper table. And, you know, with all the wonderful Christian resources we have nowadays, you just happen to have on yourself this CD. And you know, oh, it's got a kindness song on it. Johnny, come here. Take this CD, go up to your room, and listen to this track number three for 15 minutes. And you know, you think, wow, you know, this is going to inculcate kindness. I mean, he's just going to be living, breathing, oozing kindness when <laughs> he's done it. And so, you know, he goes upstairs, and you know, you kind of hear things shaking upstairs and so forth. And you visit him after a little while, open the door, you know, you look in there, and you know, the light bulb is broken and the mirror is smashed and so forth. But, you know, Johnny is really kind. Oh, Jesus wants me to be kind. Oh, oh. Okay? You know, this is the kind of thing. I mean, this is, this is what's going on in that music. Now, to demonstrate this a little bit further, let me just hand some of these little sheets out. We're going to do a little experiment here with the audience. Just hand those down if you would. We're going to sing the kindness song. And uh, <laughs> take a look at those words, sort of familiarize yourself with those words there. Does everyone have a, uh, have a copy? And let, I want us to go through this a little bit, okay, ahead of time. We're going to do it with the soundtrack. But I want us to go through this, and we'll just kind of get a feel here, okay? You just, re you, the, the uh, bold-faced words are for you to say, the uh, regular typeface is, is for me. So we go like this. Tarzan wants me to be tough. Tarzan wants me to be tough. No more of this nice guy stuff. No more of this nice guy stuff. Don't you mind the golden rule. Don't you mind the golden rule. Being tough is really cool. Being tough is really cool. Treat me wrong, I'll knock your head. Treat me wrong, I'll knock your head. Grind it up to make my bread. Grind it up to this music has the toughest tones. This music has the toughest tones. Makes me want to break your bones. Makes me want to break your bones. Toughness. 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 We will always try to be, be tough. tough. 
Okay, good. Very good rehearsal there. I think we're ready to go on the stage with this. Here we go. Let's get our soundtrack here. <clears throat> Tarzan wants me to be tough. Tarzan wants me to be tough. No more of this nice guy stuff. No more of this nice guy stuff. Don't you mind the golden rule. Don't you mind the golden rule. Being tough is really cool. Being tough is really cool. Treat me wrong, I'll knock your head. Treat me wrong, I'll knock your head. Grind it up to make my bread. This music has the toughest tones. Makes me want to break your bones. Toughness. Toughness. We will always try to be tough. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm just saying, what fits better? What fits better? Okay. And do you really think that? You know, a kid listening to this kind of uh, very, uh, very vigorous, very raw, uh, sockum, okay, type of, uh, of a setting for the, the attitude of kindness is really going to be encouraged that much to be kind. I just, you know, uh, maybe they make kids different the way, <laughs> the way they used to, but 